In MindView 5, the calculation module has been greatly improved to now include constants. Constants can be thought of as x being equal to a certain value and then calling x to run later equations on its value. For this example in a revenue forecast, we have different locations that all provide different currency values and we'd like to convert those all into US dollars. To do so, I would simply choose the defaults setting, locate the different area that I'd like to convert, create the conversion rate, and simply check the constants column. Choosing OK, I can then enter those unique values on each branch level. I can then select the individual constants from the simple drop-down list and create my conversion. As you can see, I've created the conversion for euros, also created the conversion for pounds, and converted the yen all making this a valuable equation to convert all currency values to US dollars. Having the ability to create numerous constants makes this tool perfect for creating currency conversions, revenue forecasts, or itemized budgets. When exporting this material to Microsoft Excel, these constant values are now listed in a legend. To export this document to Microsoft Excel, I would choose the File button, select Export, choose Microsoft Excel, and choose the Advanced Excel Export. When viewing the Excel document, you can now see the branches are created into the individual rows, the columns are categorized under the budget and actual amounts, and we can see the constants listed in the legend. MindView has always been a popular WBS tool, and we've now improved the WBS numbering schema to allow the root to be number one. To add the numbering scheme, choose the numbering schema from the Home tab, select the numbering scheme. As you can see, the first level has now been created with 1, 2, 3, and 4, but I can easily choose the drop-down and choose to start numbering from the root, now creating the first main root branch as level 1. MindView 5 now allows you to include resource and material costs. Resource and material costs can be located and created under the project resources, where you can enter individual user names, contact information, rates, as well as materials that are going to be utilized within a project. The type can easily be changed from work to material. When applying resource and cost material to a specific task, the cost will be based on the completion level, and this information can then be displayed directly on the branch. Users can also choose to display additional branch information, such as remaining cost, actual cost, cost, or remaining work, actual work, and work. To more accurately forecast project information, each individual resource can now be created with its own resource calendar. When I choose Project Calendars, I can choose the Project Calendar button, and then under the drop-down I have my Project Calendar or each individual resources calendar. This helps to make a more accurate project plan. MindView's Timeline View has always been a popular way to get an overview of a project. Users can now colorize the top flag points of the timeline and the duration bars in the timeline view are now colorized according to its main flag colors. This helps to better identify the top portion of the timeline with the duration bars shown below. Users can also benefit from a Timeline Tools tab, allowing specific features that can be utilized and optimized for proper timeline projects. When working in MindView 5's Gantt chart mode, users can now utilize a Gantt Tools ribbon with optimized tools allowing you to create and visualize completion levels, show active or inactive tasks, have the ability to increase or decrease the font size along with showing or hiding specific columns, helping users to better visualize the detailed information supported within each project. The additional material and resource costs can also be viewed within the Gantt chart outline in the individual corresponding columns.
When users access the task information dialog, they are now given the ability to also include task types. Task types can be listed as fixed units, fixed duration, or fixed work. And you also have the option to create tasks as effort-driven tasks. The integration with Microsoft Project has also been optimized in MindView 5 to support all of the new additional material you can provide. You still simply choose the File button, Export, Microsoft Project, and all newly added material will now be carried over into Microsoft Project. As you can see, the MindView document has now been converted to Microsoft Project with the corresponding task and resource information, and the newly created cost and material information is listed within the corresponding columns. This helps to create and improve the synergy between MindView and Microsoft Project. The project reports in MindView 5 have also been optimized to support the newly added information. You still simply choose Project Reports. When viewing the project reports, you can now look under the Task List Report and see the corresponding resource and cost information. The resource allocation report has been optimized to visualize what resources or materials are utilized on which tasks, and the unique resource cost report visualizes each individual task, the resource, and gives you the detailed information below.